if f of x is equal to x cubed minus two x plus three and g of x is equal to four times the square root of nine minus x then what is f of g of three and to solve a problem involving composite functions or functions within functions we first start on the inside and we'll work our way out so let's figure out what g of three would be by plugging in three into our function g of x so we have four times the square root of nine minus three and this is equal to four times the square root of nine minus three is six and the square root of six has factors of three and two which are each prime and so this can't be simplified so four root six is equal to g of three and now f of g of three is the same thing as f of four root six so now we go to our function f of x and anywhere we see this x we'll plug in four times the square root of six so we have four root six to the third power minus two times four root six plus three and now simplifying since we have a product here we'll cube each four and the square root of six four cubed is 64 and the square root of six to the third power i'll write this way we have root six times root six times root six and I'll show in a moment why I did this. And then minus 2 times 4 root 6, or 8 root 6, plus 3. And then the reason I wrote it three times in a row is so that we can notice that we can combine root 6 with root 6. And the square root of 6, essentially squared, is just 6. So we have 64 times 6 times the square root of 6 minus 8 times the square root of 6 plus 3 and 64 times 6 is just 6 times 60 which is 360 plus 6 times 4 which is 24 so this is equal to 360 plus 24 or 384 times root 6 minus 8 root 6 plus 3 and 384 times root 6 minus 8 root 6. Since they each have this root 6 in common, we can just subtract the coefficient of this from the coefficient of this. 384 minus 8 is simply 376 multiplied by the square root of 6 and then plus 3. And this is as simple as we can make it. So this is our final answer.